Last week, we explored the island of St. John in the U.S. Virgin Islands, swam with green turtles in Maho Bay, and once James recovered from the flu, we set off and sailed around to Coral Bay. This week we had the first people to ever join us aboard Zephyr. Doug and Felicia joined us for a day sail and taught us a few tricks on trimming the sails. Morning. I made some bread before we set sail back to Nanny Key. Making some bread, but we don't know how it's going to taste. Your bread's always good. Huh? Your bread's always good. No, there's been some bad ones. We are leaving Hurricane Hole, and we are heading to Nanny Key. So back where we first picked up the boat. Um, come full circle now, so pretty excited. We checked out uh, Cruise Bay. We had to hitchhike over there and back, which was pretty exciting. We met some really cool people. And uh, yeah, we'll go back to Nanny Key. We got a few more boat works to, a few things to do. Would you wanna stay right here with you as the rest we fall? We have full main and full head sail the moment. And um, pretty proud of ourselves. Yeah. Because we managed to do it all on our own. And I think it went up pretty good. We didn't make any mistakes. We didn't, no. I feel like we did pretty good. Slowly getting better. Yeah. Still waters run deep. So let us walk right into the forest. To the trees and the rising sun. It is something we can't outrun. I do it. Just Van Dyke, 
another island and the reason we didn't film anything after checking in into the BVI's is because when we went in to check in they charged us about $80 worth and I don't know if you know there were separate fees for customs and then a separate fee for immigration um, but all up we got charged $80 so we were pretty mad and had a bit of a downer um, so we didn't feel like filming at all finally putting our sailing Zephyr stickers up so on the boom um, yeah so we're about to peel the other side off and see how that looks New grey dinghy continues to leak, so we pull it up on deck and get to work. The dinghy needed to dry out, so we had to come up with another way to get to shore. So we've decided to stay a couple more days at Joss Van Dyke. It's the full moon party tomorrow, Saturday, and our friends Zane and Shivani have arrived. They've got a couple more days here, so they've come to join us for the full moon party. So we thought we'd stick around and have dinner with them tonight. Next door neighbors. After some amazing days spent in Just Van Dyke, we head back to Road Town to do some provisioning. Uh, we're going to right way and cash and carry because we're going to see if we can provision because we have no food left in the boat. I keep up the pace to fool myself, I don't need grace. stretched out so much to the point where I had the alternator adjusted all the way out um, and it was still a bit loose and as a result also it would hit the uh, flywheel cover. So and you can see the old belt here this one is it's, yeah it's pretty chewed up so it was supposed to have teeth or not um, or whether it's just stretched out but this new one has teeth 
and it's smaller. So. And whilst James continued working with the inboard motor, I met Ralphie, who continued working on the outboard motor. We're heading from Rowtown to Virgin Gorda Sound, so we're going to go and anchor up behind Prickly Pear. And then in the morning tomorrow, we're going to make our 11 nautical mile run from Gorda Sound to Anagata. So that should be fun. We're really excited to go up to Anagata. So we're trying to sail the whole way, but we are running out of time and it's dead upwind. So we're motor sailing. We still got the main out. Um, it's helping a little bit, but we are running the engine, which sucks. Yeah. So, see how we go. We'll go up to Anagata for a few days. Should be exciting. I know Nat is. Spring is in the air Like a drum snare Buds are bursting to a spot where we thought we could anchor but it was full of mooring balls and just as we put out our anchor we were putting the snubber on this guy comes along on his boat and he's like hey you can't anchor here this is only moorings um, anyway he turned out to be the loveliest guy and he was like just take a free mooring um, and spend the night strong piano play So we're just leaving the Byers Creek anchorage. Uh, it was really nice actually, really calm, and probably one of the calmest anchorages we've had in a while. And now we're off to Anagata, so this should be pretty fun. There's a bit of a tricky reef pass to get into Anagata, um, but I'm pretty excited. Uh, I'm sure you guys see some it. covered in mosquito bites. Oh, seasons change up. Racing this mono over here. It's the only other one. For the little pilot cats. Uh, they don't know they're in a race, but we're racing them. And we are about to pass them. Oh no, need. That's driving the boat. In my foot. With your foot? <laughs> no, no. Maybe it's just me and mine where thunder is. After an amazing sail with the wind on our beam the entire way, we pulled our sails in and arrived at Anagata. What a beautiful sight awaited us. We are in 
Anagata. And we're about to get in, check out Anchor, go for a snorkel, and then have some food. How was the ride in? Yeah, it was pretty, it, it was okay. Um, but you could see like all the coral heads, so it was a bit scary, and probably the scariest thing we've done up till now. It's a bit of a narrow entry, um, isn't it? Yeah, super narrow entry, but it was well marked out. But then as soon as you got in, it was packed with people, and there's a small anchorage, so... Um, but I think we, we got a good spot, we're just going to check the anchor now quickly. of the crystal clear water to give our hull a much needed scrub. A name that describes it perfectly when the highest point on the island is only 28 feet above sea level. We had heard about Anagata's flamingos. It was a sight that we couldn't miss, so we started walking trying to find the salt ponds. After hours of walking, we swap flamingo watching for goat watching and have a quick rest. Not so graceful getting out of it though. After a full day out and not a single flamingo to be seen, we head back to Zephyr to catch the amazing sunset. So this morning we've woken up, it's a beautiful day, and we are going to go and explore the north side of the island, try and do some snorkeling. Apparently that's where the best snorkeling is. We're going to head around Pomato Point and try and check out what's around that corner there. And hopefully it's not too far and we can see some cool stuff. Seems so strong until it falls, the fire strong. I'm gonna grab the surfboards from the boat. There's a right hander that is just absolutely peeling for days. Living in a dark cloud. 
politics we danced, we fought We were bound to make mistakes We loved, we thought But it was always on fire Our house, our dream We were dancing on wire Reckless, it seemed So we just discovered a bit of a hiccup. And set sail to Puerto Rico.